mole fraction and how to calculate mole fraction. Firstly, let me teach you the concept of fraction. Consider this cake. I divide this cake into four equal parts. Now consider Mr. Najam and Mr. Ali. Let Mr. Najam eats one piece of the cake out of four pieces. While Mr. Ali eats three pieces of the cake out of four pieces. We say that in the cake, Mr. Najam's fraction or Mr. Najam's part is one by four because he eats only one piece out of four pieces of the cake. Secondly, we say that in the cake, Mr. Ali's fraction or Mr. Ali's part is three by four because he eats three pieces out of four pieces of the cake. Therefore, we say that fraction shows a part of something out of total parts. Let me repeat it. Fraction shows a part of something out of total parts. Hence, note it down. Now, what is mole fraction? Remember that mole fraction is denoted by x. Now, consider this object. It contains 6 moles of water. I add 2 moles salt to it and 3 moles sugar to it to form a solution. Here, I am interested to find mole fraction of salt. We know that mole fraction is denoted by x and I write salt as a subscript. To find the mole fraction of salt, I write number of moles of salt upon number of moles of salt plus number of moles of sugar plus number of moles of water. We know that number of moles of salt is 2 upon number of moles of salt is 2 plus number of moles of sugar is 3 plus number of moles of water is 6. After calculation, I get 2 upon 11. Hence, the mole fraction of salt in this solution is 2 by 11. It means that 2 moles of salt is present in 11 moles of solution. Let me repeat it. It means that 2 moles of salt is present in 11 moles of solution. In the light of these facts, we say that mole fraction is equal to mole of a substance upon total number of moles. Now let me ask you, find the mole fraction of sugar and mole fraction of water in this solution. Can you find them? Well, it is super easy. Mole fraction of sugar is equal to number of moles of sugar upon total number of moles of solution. We know that number of moles of sugar is 3 moles upon the total number of moles of solution which is 11. Hence, the mole fraction of sugar is 3 by 11. It means that there are 3 moles of sugar present in 11 moles of solution. Secondly, in case of mole fraction of water, I write number of moles of water which is 6 upon total number of moles of solution which is 11. Hence, the mole fraction of water is 6 by 11. It means that 6 moles of water is present and 11 moles of solution. Therefore, we define mole fraction as it is the ratio of number of moles of one component to the number of moles of all the components present in a solution. Remember that mole fraction is a ratio and it has therefore no unit or it is unitless. Thus note down all these important points. Finally, let me teach you that how to calculate mole fraction. Well, consider this numerical problem. 40 gram of methanol is dissolved and 200 gram water. Find the mole fraction of methanol. Well, we know that mole fraction of methanol is equal to number of moles of methanol upon number of moles of methanol plus number of moles of water. In the question, we are only given the weight of methanol and water. So we have to find the number of moles of methanol and the number of moles of water. Carbon plus three hydrogen atoms plus oxygen plus hydrogen. The molar mass of carbon is 12, that of hydrogen is 1, that of oxygen is 16 and that of hydrogen is 1. After calculation, I get 32 gram per mole. Hence, the molar mass of methanol is 32 gram per mole. And the question, the given mass of methanol is 40 gram. 
we know that the number of moles of methanol is equal to given mass upon molar mass of methanol. The given mass of methanol is 40 gram and the molar mass of methanol is 32 gram per mole. I get 1.25 mole. Hence 1.25 moles of methanol is present in this solution. In case of number of moles of water, we have to find the molar mass of water which is 2 hydrogen atoms plus 1 oxygen atom. Are 2 into 1 plus 16, I get 18 gram per mole. Hence the molar mass of water is 18 gram per mole. And the question, the given mass of water is 200 gram. Now the number of moles of water is equal to given mass of water upon molar mass of water. The given mass of water is 200 gram and the molar mass of water is 18 gram per mole. After calculation, I get 11.11 moles. Thus 11.11 moles of water is present in this solution. Now I will plug in the number of moles of methanol and the number of moles of water in this equation. I write the mole fraction of methanol is equal to number of moles of methanol which is 1.25 upon number of moles of methanol which is 1.25 plus number of moles of water which is 11.11 moles. After calculation, I get 0 0.101. Thus, the mole fraction of methanol is 0 0.101. So, note it down this important numerical. Lastly, let me teach you one difficult problem. Calculate the mole fraction of ethylene glycol in a solution containing 20% of ethylene glycol by mass. Well, this solution contains ethylene glycol, e.g., plus water. And the question. 20% of ethylene glycol by mass means that this solution contains 20 gram ethylene glycol e.g. What about mass of water? Well, mass of water is 100 gram minus 20 gram. I get 80 gram. So this solution contains 20 gram ethylene glycol and 80 gram water. In the question, we are asked to find mole fraction of ethylene glycol. We know that mole fraction of ethylene glycol is equal to number of moles of ethylene glycol upon number of moles of ethylene glycol plus number of moles of water. In the question, we are not given number of moles of ethylene glycol and water. Hence, we have to find the number of moles of ethylene glycol and the number of moles of water. The molar mass of ethylene glycol is equal to 2 carbon plus 6 hydrogen plus 2 oxygen. I write the respective atomic masses. After calculation, I get molar mass of ethylene glycol is 62 gram per mole. In the question, the given mass of ethylene glycol is 20 gram. Now number of moles of ethylene glycol is equal to given mass of ethylene glycol which is 20 gram upon molar mass of ethylene glycol which is 62 gram per mole. After calculation, I get 0.322 moles. Secondly, we know that the molar mass of water is 18 gram per mole and the given mass of water in the question is 80 gram. Now, number of moles of water is equal to given mass which is 80 gram upon molar mass which is 18 gram per mole. After calculation, I get 4.44 moles. Thus, I calculated the number of moles of ethylene glycol and the number of moles of water. I will plug in these two values in this equation. Mole fraction of ethylene glycol is equal to number of moles of ethylene glycol which is 0 0.322 moles upon 0 0.322 moles plus number of moles of water which is 4.44 moles. After calculation, I get 0 0.0676. Thus, the mole fraction of ethylene glycol is 0 0.0676 in the solution. Thus, note it down this important numerical problem. I hope that you have learned all about mole fraction.